everyone loves low maintenance plants and while every plant requires some amount of care, ornamental grasses are probably one of the low maintenance plants you can have in the garden. Now, they do require a little bit of attention um, in the late winter, early spring, and that's because they've got all of this dried material on top. Now, we like this during the winter time because one, it provides protection to the crown of the plant, but also we enjoy seeing the texture as winter interest. We do need to cut this back now though, um, allowing for that new growth to come on. And so in order to do that, we're gonna cut it about three or four inches above the crown of the plant. So what we're gonna use, you can either use uh, shears or you can use something electrical or gas. We always wanna make sure that we've got our safety equipment on. So we've got our glasses and also our gloves to do this. Now this works, shears work great if you're doing just one or two plants. But if you have a lot of them like we do here at the gardens, you might want to opt for something with a little more power. Now you can see we've tied ours up and this makes it easy for collecting it and taking it to the compost. We're actually going to take ours and give it to the chickens it also makes it nice when you tie it up so that when there's wind, it kind of contains it a little bit. It picks it up out of the way so you can see where you're cutting and you don't have to go chasing it down with the rake. After we've cut away the old foliage, what we're gonna do next is take a look at the crown of the plant. And you can see that this switchgrass, it's a clump forming grass. And so what tends to happen on these is the center dies out. You can see here that there's really no active growing uh, tissue here in the center. So what we're gonna wanna do is divide this. Now, this is a large grass clump to divide. So we're probably not gonna be able to dig up the whole thing. We're just gonna dig up sections of it. And those will act like individual divisions that we can then take and replant somewhere else. Now, before you start digging, you always wanna make sure that you're aware of any irrigation that's around. So we want to make sure that we find those lines and there's one going right through this grass here and that we don't cut those. When you dig, a sharp spade is always nice to use and you want to make sure to go deep enough that you're getting a good amount of that root ball. You can see here that we had a large clump of grass that we were working with. And instead of digging up the whole root ball, which would have been too hard to handle, we've actually just dug a section of it up. Um, you wanna just get in there and be aggressive about cutting through that root ball because it's got quite a bit of roots. Now, what we're gonna do, we could take this and plant it and it would have, be another plant somewhere else or we can actually cut it in half and have two more plants. If you were to dig up an ornamental grass, the whole root ball being this size, you could take it and quarter it or half it um, depending on how many more plants you would want. But you have plenty of crown here to get a couple of more plants out of this. We have here another clump forming grass. This is a miscanthus and it hasn't been divided in quite a while. So you can see that once again, there's a center that has died out on it. Now, if you're tired of breaking your shovels, trying to dig these root balls up and divide these grasses, um, you might be interested in our next little experiment that we're gonna do. Now, we've heard uh, that you can actually take an auger and drill out the center of this grass and then put fresh soil in there. And what that does is that digs out some of the old roots and it gets some of the old soil out, puts fresh soil in there, and it allows that grass to grow back into the center. So we're gonna try this and take a look at it in a year and see if the grass has started growing back to the center. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.